to make our controller advice or the exception handler class handle a specific exception rather than a general exception, we will have to create a new method. Let me copy this method that I have, which handles a general exception, and I'll paste it here. And first change that I'm going to make is to change the value inside of the exception handler. So let's change this from exception to a null pointer exception. Let's make this method handle null pointer exceptions only. Now, because I'm using null pointer exception class in the value, I will copy null pointer exception and I will paste it in my method argument as a data type of the exception object. I'm going to handle null pointer exceptions here and I'll change the name of this class handle null pointer exception like this. The rest of the business logic in my method can stay exactly the same, but we can of course customize it. We can come up with a specific business logic that we need to handle this particular exception. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to just demonstrate that uh, this method will handle null pointer exception and this method will no longer trigger. So we have a breakpoint here and uh, let me add breakpoint to my method handler that handles null pointer exceptions. Now let me run this application in a debug mode so that I can see this breakpoint triggered. Okay, my application started. I'll go back to Postman and send the request. And here we go, debugger breakpoint triggered. I'm invited to switch to a debug perspective. Let's say yes. And let's have a look at the breakpoint. We have two methods. And as you can see, the method that handles general exception did not trigger, but the breakpoint inside of the handle null pointer exception is now triggered because we now have a more specific exception and Spring Framework calls this method. Now let me uh, resume debugging and have a look at the response. Okay, so that works. Now, as a next step, let's learn how to handle exception messages that we create and we throw. For example, in uh, these videos, we have discussed how to handle an exception message. And as an example, we have generated a null pointer exception. We have created a string and then we have assigned null to it. And then we tried accessing the value inside of first name. And because the value inside of first name is null, a null pointer exception is triggered. Now let's learn how to throw our own custom exception. I'm going to create a new user service exception, for example, and throw it. And I will make my exception handler class catch it. So let's do that. 